Hi everyone, my name is Sabrina Mir and I'm a teaching assistant with the Young Scientist Program at USC. Welcome to week five of the special education YouTube videos. This week we'll be doing a marble track. So for the past few weeks, we've been talking a lot about different kinds of forces, right? Forces are a push or a pull on an object that often causes them to move. So some of the forces that we talked about are gravity, which pulls things down, buoyancy, which is often in the water, pushing an object up. And also we talked about air resistance, which helps when things are falling down. So this week we'll be talking about friction. Have you guys ever heard of the word friction before? So friction is a force from the surface that an object is moving across. And this often goes against the movement, so it will slow things down. So for example, when you're skating on ice, the ice actually has very little friction, so you'll move very fast. But things like carpet or concrete, they have friction. So when you try to roll an object, it will be slow because the force of friction is slowing the object. This comes into play with our marble track because depending on what you use to make your track, this will determine how fast the marble will move across the surface. So if it's something very smooth, it will go very fast, but if it's more rough, then it will go slower. Something else we want to consider when we talk about our marble track is how steep our track is. So if you think about a hill, right? If a hill is super steep, are things going to go really fast or really slow? when compared to if the surface is flat. So think about it and pause this video and tell me the answer. So if you have a steeper hill or a steeper track, the marble is going to go faster. This is just because it's able to gain speed as it's going down this incline. So for this experiment, you can use a lot of different materials to make your track. So what I will be using is paper, like construction paper. You can also use printer paper or cardboard or anything to make your own track. You will also need like a marble or a small object that's circular that can roll. We just want to be able to have something roll across our track. You also might want to use tape to put your track together. I'm going to be using paper, but I'm going to be using a lot of different sheets of paper that I need to connect with tape. Finally, you might want to use different objects to put in your path to see what happens. Like, will it slow the marble down? Will it make the marble stop? So you can use things like cardboard, popsicle sticks, straws, anything that comes to mind. So I will show you how I make my marble track. You guys can make it however you want. This is just an example. So the first thing that I am doing is folding a piece of construction paper into four parts and then cutting it so I have equal pieces. And I did this for a few different sheets. Then I'm making support beams, so I'm just taping these as like a cylinder and cutting the top and bottom so I can tape it to the table and the track. Then I'm just folding the track and I'm going to make little cuts on the side so that it's more flexible for the marble. And this is our actual track, so I did this to a few pieces of paper. Then I taped down the support beams and started taping the track to it and to each other, forming a track however I wanted to. You can do cool things like a loop or whatever you want. I just made this incline into a cup. So now it's time to test our marble track. So we're going to put the marble on and see what happens when it goes down the path. Make some observations about what happened on your track. Did the object go faster or slower when you had a steeper track? How did the different objects that you put on your track affect its movement? Did they slow them down? Did it make it stop? What other things did you notice during this experiment? Go ahead and pause this video and write down your observations. This marble track is an example of a roller coaster. In real life, these are the things that people have to consider when making roller coasters, like how steep they want it to go, what they want it to be made of, to determine how fast they want people to move. Our diverse scientist for this week is an African-American scientist by the name of Granville Woods. He was a self-taught mechanical and electrical engineer in the time after the Civil War. He had over 60 patents and worked a lot with trains and streetcars. He was very important in making improvements for transportation in the US, but also helped with things like car brakes, egg incubators, and other things like the telephone. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the marble track and I am excited to see you next week for week six.